there folks, Jimmy here. Welcome to Cube World. Uh, what is Cube World, I hear you ask? Cube World is a uh, large open world action RPG. Uh, it's an indie game, currently in alpha. Uh, the link is in the description. Which uh, It's based on Voxel, so it's kind of Minecraft-esque, but, but without all the building options. It's more RPG as well, so there's lots of uh, items you can get. You can modify weapons do all sorts of stuff with it so it's pretty cool uh, the game itself is gives you standard MMO type of gameplay so you can choose classes races everything like that uh, choose if you male or female change faces haircut everything you want basically even hair color so let's have a look at what we can do in the game so uh, you've got for races you've got human elf dwarf Orcs, jaws pretty cool. Look at them. Look at it. look at his profound jaw. It's amazing. Uh, goblins, which are about the same size as the uh, dwarves. Get lizard men, which are good if you change their faces because they only have two faces for the male one, which goes. To make him eat, or just use him to talk. Anyway, uh, after that, you've got uh, undead, so you kind of like skeleton faces. Frogman, which is pretty cool. Gee, yeah. And back to human. Um, so, and then for your classes, of course, you've got your warrior. So you, you can tell he's got this massive club on his back. You've got a ranger who gets bow and arrows, a mage with his staff, a rogue who can use uh, like daggers and stuff like that, so he's pretty good at sneaking, and back to warrior. So uh, let's have a look at what can I do. Um, what should I start as? I think I'll go with a... Um, Part of me wants to go with a frogman just for a laugh. Um, what face should we give him? A bit of toothy smile there. That one's a bit dull. Another toothy smile with a yellow jaw. Got his gob open ready for food probably. Uh, let's go with that one. If he changes his haircut, it actually changes the shape of his eyes instead of hair. Which is pretty cool. So, you can give him a, a bit of more of a funky look. Uh, let's go with that one. Uh, what class should we go? I normally play as a ranger. I've been playing this game for a little while, so for, well, for the past couple of days, I've been playing with a couple of mates, uh, which some footage will probably appear with them at some point. Um, I'm going to go with Warrior, um, just because I can. Stick with that hair colour. Um, can't do anything with the colour, but oh well. What should we name him? Uh, let's name. Uh, let's call him Jim with a double M, just because I've got already a character called Jim. Right, let's go create a character. Let's go to. No, we want a single player world. Let's create a world. Uh, let's give it a seed, which seeds has to be a number, which everyone basically gets the same type of seed. So basically, if you type in a random number, uh, that seed will generate the same world that somebody else has used. So let's go with um, five, six, six. Nine eight two. Um, world that'll do. So here we have it. Spawned in some nice little uh, waterland. So you can see that there's a bit of a fog going on at the moment, but that's because the world's actually generating still at the moment. Which, if you press M, <coughs> you can have a look. You the area that you are. 
So all these blocks are kind of building up quite nicely. We've got in the northeast uh, a village. In over in the east, there's. I can get the camera down. There's all plenty of uh, sites to go loot, which all of them sites will basically give you epic loot. You get more and more items through there. You get boss battles, everything like that. So it's pretty cool. So let's get started. So let's go in the general direction of that little area. So as you can see, the uh, landscape is quite like Minecraft with all the blocks. Though, to be honest, blocks are quite limiting anyway. Uh, you get animals, so you get sheep, which you can kill them, or if you get the right equipment, you can actually tame them. So you can have them as part of your kind of like as a pet, which all your items for pets will get in there. Uh, you get ingredients, items like life potions, and then you get, of course weapons and equipment so at the moment I'm carrying a wooden great mace but I can go with double swords or sword, sword and a shield which um, I'm quite tempted to go with double swords just because it looks pretty cool um, you can also craft items which is pretty awesome so and say with a sheep, you can actually attack them if you tame them as a pet as well. Though they can attack enemies for you, so if you go to attack one, they'll attack the enemy as well. Um, your enemies come in different stages as well, so like they have different levels. So if I say, for instance, I start attacking him, he'll attack me as well. So it's actually quite hard with sheep is. And you can press middle mouse button to roll. And there you go, one XP. So as you can see in the corner there, in the top left hand corner, you got your life bar, you've got your XP bar, what level you are, and a little picture of your face. Is it right roll scrolls around? So let's see what else there is. There's, uh, see that enemy there is too powerful for me to be bit me to beat. If I go too close to it, it will aggro on me and it will come and kick the crap out of me. Uh, as you're running through, you'll see little items like this little flower here, which is ginseng. Which uh, if you attack it, it'll cut it down and you can pick up ginseng roots, which you can turn into soup, which you can use to basically create a health giving soup later on which is pretty cool these guys I'm not sure if these are likely to kill me or what although they might do yeah they are so one's using magic on me which isn't very nice so let's get out of here pick up this heart flower just because I can yeah, you've got a terrier there so you can tame the dogs, get different breeds of dogs as well, which is pretty cool. And see, he's given up now. He's gotten bored of chasing me. Uh, they've got distracted as well, so it just doesn't surprise me. So yeah, playing on your own is pretty cut, pretty hard. It's tough to get around. It's tough to defeat mobs, which is always a bit of an issue. Um, to be honest, I mean, even games like Minecraft are pretty hard to, could be pretty hard on, on your own sometimes. So let's pick up a mushroom. So, uh, as you're going around as well, you will see these statues here that are pretty cool. These ones here. So these ones are where you respawn if you die. Um, you always respawn not too far away and you don't lose your items, which is pretty cool. So, watching sing. Um, what else is there? Some of these rocks you can blow up. You have to buy bombs from the town to do so, which I'll show you at some point in the video. 
once I collect all this, which is pretty handy. Um, yeah, so it's 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 in early alpha, so it's not completely done yet. Um, but the guy, the team work, the people working on it, there's only a couple of them. Uh, Wale, who created the game, uh, is working hard on it. He's there's been some trouble with it recently, with basically too many people overloading servers and stuff like that. So at one point, nobody knew could get it. And but at the moment, as long as not everybody is trying to buy it all at once, it's absolutely fine at the moment. So let's take all of this, so because. If I don't use it all, I can always sell it, which is pretty cool. Which, uh, money's work. Money is the best thing you can gather, to be quite honest. So, because you will need it to buy things. 